everybody, this is Laura from the Vintage Key. Hello. Um, so here's the final, final, final finished box um, for the Secret Squirrel Cigar Box Swap. I hope I said that right. It's hosted by Jade Moore um, at Jaded Studios. Um, so here it is. The box you've all been waiting for. The one that I went kind of all Marie Antoinette on. Kind of crazy. Um, and I'm sorry if I'm out of breath. That's just kind of going to always be that way for a while. Until this pregnancy is over. Yay. <laughs> but here it is. So I hope you like it. And I'm sorry if you get any shadowing. I'm trying to like record in my room and lighting is horrible. But um, so here it is. This was the actual fan that I put pictures of, sneak peeks of. And you can actually see it there. Got it all done there. Uh, I did add some stick pins here and here. If I can get a close up of those. But those are the two stick pins right there that I made. Um, this is a flower you saw, and um, when you saw it, it didn't have no ribbons on it yet. So these are the actual uh, ribbons that I put on there, just like that. Some ribbons and some pearls. As you can see, it just kind of hangs down on the on the box like that. And so also what I did is I um, the box itself, and <laughs> you can't really see it, but um, on a small part like this if you can see that. What I did is I colored it several times. Um, I did a white gesso on it, then I did some crackling and painted um, some turquoise blue color, and I did some script stamping on there. So it gives that a lot of dimension and a lot of different color. It has some pinks there. And I took these, um, I had these appliques that my mom gave me from a vintage shop. So I cut them up and I put one there and I have one over here. And then over here I took this bling that I had from Recollections and I put one on each corner. And what I did here is um, I put these flowers here from Recollections that I had really pretty, like Camelot roses. And um, I also have two little small ones here. And this is an old earring. My mom gets me a bunch of old jewelry pieces, so I got some old earrings there. Same thing on the other side this down and I've got some bling up here in the corners and all the way around I just added lace as you can see so there's lace all the way around the box really pretty I imagine that Marie Antoinette would have this on her dresser and it would be something so pretty and it also has some flat back pearls trimmed on the top and I also have the handle is a really nice crystal knob and I also added these really pretty crystal feet so when it sits you can't see it but you've got those really pretty feet so then you just take this you lift this up and there's the bottom of the inside it's all glimmer misted and stuff um, lined up with pearls and also you can see on the rim the script stamping and then here is the inside part which I hope that you can see here you try to put this down a little bit so that you can see that. Push this back a little bit. But this is the actual inside part right here. Let me see if I can lift this up right quick. So hopefully I don't make you dizzy. Um, this is the inside. So you can see right there, really pretty. Again, the paper's there. Um, I kind of made like this mirror. I cut this out with my Cricut. Really pretty. I added a cute little... um cameo piece that I had right there and over here there's an actual little perfume bottle it's a little vintage perfume bottle I added a rose I made a stick pin with a little dangly and over here in the corner I made her some stick pins so just some really pretty little stick pins there um, and on the whole inside box itself again it's that um, paper that I used. The paper collection I used was Mademoiselle from um, DCWV, which is really nice paper. And also Glimmer Misted that. Sorry for the glare of the little <laughs> mirror. It's actually mirror paper. Um, but I did that. Glimmer Misted the background. Added the pearls on the inside. Roses on each corner. And because it says perfume, um, I went ahead and added the little perfume bottle you saw up close. And over here I added the really pretty stick pins over here. So I think it all came out really nice. I really liked it a lot. And I hope that um, all her goodies fit in here. I don't think so, but you know. So, <laughs> let me show you again, because I really, really love these stick pins. They came out so pretty. Can you see all those right there? 
There's several of them. And because that's hot glued, I just stuck those in there as a pretty decoration. But she can also take those out and use them. So that is it, guys. Oops. That is my box. I hope you liked it. Again, another side view of the inside. Closes up. And we just put all these pretty little trims down here. And then that is the actual box itself. So I hope you like it. Use the stick pin. I forgot to tell you, I put this cute little dove bird Mama gave me. It's white and already glittered, so it worked really well. So there's the box. So I hope that you all really enjoyed it. And if I get the chance to, I will make a tutorial on this fan. So there's that. And right quick, let me just show you some of the goodies, okay? So, this is a tray of her goodies. And, um, yeah. <laughs> we'll see what we can fit in there. This is um, a tag I did for her. It's an Easter tag. So, it has one of my handmade paper flowers. Um, it's painted and crackled and has some stamping. And it just says Easter greetings. And I haven't written anything on the back yet, so... And I didn't want you guys to see who it was going to. So, there's that. wish my lighting in here was better. Here's just some more goodies right quick. This is that. Um, I just went ahead and gave her a sample of all the papers from the Mademoiselle stack. And um, so, this is what the stack looks like from DCWB. Gorgeous paper stack. A lot of you have already seen this. So it's really beautiful. So, gave her a sample of that. Um, in here, it's just a box, cute little box I had for Michaels. There's a bunch of game pieces in here, bingo pieces and whatnot. Some rhinestones, dew drops, huge safety pin, which I thought was awesome. Um, I think she likes that um, vampire stuff that all of you guys like to watch. I think it's called Twilight. So this is really pretty red and black, fluffy, huge pan of flower. So I hope she likes that. Um, some little butterflies and things, a huge bling, um, a doily flower that my sister makes, some paper roses that I make, some rosettes here, these are glass flowers here, and I got these little bags, this one has like brads and bling and cute little stuff inside, uh, this one has vintagey buttons, this one has metal pieces, um, metal corners, keys, an old earring, and some tags and stuff. And some wings. I'm trying to go through everything really fast before my time cuts off on me. Um, a cute little stamp set. Put this here. A little frame. Some metal pieces here. Um, some cute cards. These are vintage cards. But I really like the look. Um, some more little glass pieces. Some little metal blings, little vintage tag piece there, um, some frames. You can see I got these at Big Lots for a dollar a long time ago, but they're metal frames for making memories. Um, and right in here, um, just some die cuts and things that I have. Give her that. Some bling from Recollections. That's the same one that I used on her box. Um, just some vintage images that I had here paper bag album, and some vintage bingo cards So from Mountain Bradley Company. So basically those are all of her goodies, and I'm going to see what I can fit in her box. <laughs> Anything else, I think I'm just going to um, wrap it up for her. And I hope that my swap partner really likes and enjoys all her goodies. Uh, there's a lot in there, so I hope she really likes it. So again, those are all the goodies there. I can't pick up the traits. Heavy filled with goodies. Uh, I was going to add some other things, but I said, well, this will work for the moment. It's fantastic goodies. So huge tray of goodies. Zoom in so you can kind of see it all in all its glory. Ah. So there's the goodies. And here is the box. So, um, I hope you guys really like the box. I worked really hard on it. I was super nervous. 
um, about making it. wasn't too sure. And then, you know, my husband came home and he brought me the Mademoiselle paper stack. And he said, okay, here's your inspiration. Go for it. And I went, um, okay, thanks. So, <laughs> when I'm kind of in a rut, he tries to, like, dig me up and pick me up. And so, it's nice of him because he'll go shopping and find stuff. So, it's just really exciting. Um, so, and he actually went out and bought me the cigar box, too, because since I'm almost going to be due... Um, there's only so much walking I can really do, so he's really good. He lives in the area, or lives, oh, he works in the area where the um, Joanne's and Michael's is at, so usually during his lunch break or when he gets off of work, he'll call me, ask me if I need something, then go and pick it up for me, so. But here we are. I hope my swap partner likes it. I don't know who you are. <laughs> Actually, I do, but you don't know who you are. So, <laughs> I hope you like it. I hope that you are impressed with it because um, I was, when I was dead, I'm kind of sad I'm going to give it away, <laughs> but I think I will make one um, for me. Like everybody else, they said, oh my God, I've got to make another one. Um, after you make your first one, you really do kind of get addicted, so I think I'm going to make one for me and um, one for a special friend that I've got to send out to, so I hope you guys really like it and enjoy it. I wish the lighting was better so you could see it. <laughs> it's so pretty. And um, I also just take pictures and post pictures up on my blog as well, which the blog is just T, as in Tom, vintagekey.blogspot.com. And I'll have close-ups of, like, these little things here. That you can kind of see. And the stick pins. Let me just open it up again one more time. So there's the bottom. And here's the top. i got to get my camera back so that you guys can actually see that. And let me just adjust this right quick. So you guys can see that part. There's a the perfume bottle again. It's a little dangly. The stick pins in the corner. The mirror. So, yep. I hope you guys like it. So let me know. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.